afternoon all. It's Monday afternoon. I've uh, been sitting at this desk most of the day and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, I did get mail this morning. Uh, I might as well show you that first. So, I got a box. And in the box I got one of these. Now, there is a reason it's on its side. It's got a tilt switch. See? And also, as you noticed, it glows red. Now, <laughs> it did have me curious, and I did send the guy a message through eBay. <laughs> But I did find the letter, there was a letter included in the box, I just didn't see it. Um, more like he found it for me. But anyway, this should have red lenses, but they were replaced with amber because the red ones broke. You can tell when you... Sometimes when you knock it, you can see that flicker because of that tilt switch. Um, also with this one, the lens body itself doesn't rotate, it's stuck in one position, you can see the screws in here where they've uh, screwed it to one position. That indicates it was likely, especially from the colour, likely used or manufactured for um, use on the railways because I don't think I've come across a lamp that was used on the railway where the the lamp head can be rotated, they're all fixed, my other ones are fixed. Um, and they're always red. Well don't you have to say, on my camera screen it's looking more of a purple colour for some reason. <laughs> sort of a pinky purple colour it's uh, coming up as, I don't know, maybe it's just the LED and the way the camera's picking it up. But it is red. Uh, so. Uh, Thank you very much for that one. I might see, one day I might, you know, be able to find some replacement lenses for this. Who knows? But, uh, I do like it. It's a bit annoying that you got to lay it down to turn it off. <laughs> Not sure why they would have had that feature. Perhaps so it was quicker to turn them off. You know, so they haven't got to mess around pressing a button. I don't know. Just to confuse people, maybe. <laughs> um, the other thing I got were these. So I've got some more uh, PS1 games. What we got? Air hockey. USA Racer. Ooh. That looks interesting. One. Europe Racer. Not made by the same company by any chance, are they? <laughs> Davy Lex, yes they are. So they obviously did one of each. London Racer 2, now I know I don't have that one, but I think I've got that one. So, I'm pretty certain I've got London Racer. So, uh, I can pass this one on for free if anyone wants it. Go and put these in the thing. Oh yeah, that is what I've been building. I'll come back to that. Started it Saturday. Got to the point where I needed that clutch gear and stopped. And luckily, the clutch gear arrived in the mail today. So I've just spent the past three and a half hours finishing it off. It's about six hours work in total to build this damn thing. I think I've got the wrong. It's meant to be a number four. Is that a number four? Here's a number four. All right. Oh no, these are two different numbers. All right, I'm gonna have to just double check the. I thought the angles looked different on the mirrors. Uh, it's pretty well detailed. I'll give it that. I don't think it was actually that well detailed looking at the uh, instructions. And uh, there's one other. I've got a spare base for an RMJ lamp. 
that's what it looks like anyway in here. I think I'm pretty yeah. Here's a spare one. Always handy, because if you're not careful you can break the clips. Right, I'm just gonna park my bottom back down. Um, on the end of this video I'm gonna put a clip of my stepdad's uh, greenhouse that he's building. So I'll take the camera with me and just uh, film the progress so far. So uh, I'll tack that in on the end. Um, I want to get him to the vet, well, as soon as possible. I don't know if mum's phoned today. Because uh, mum's going to have to take me and him to the vet, so I figured if she makes the appointment, it'll be much easier for her to book the appointment around her schedule, so. But uh, he seems to be having a bit of uh, toothy problems on this side. So, uh, I figure he's been like it for a few weeks now, and it's not getting any better, so... If anything, it's slowly, very slowly getting worse, so I think he needs to go and see the, ooh, <laughs> the animal doctor. You know, he pushed himself off off my lap, the numb nuts. <laughs> he's been ever so cuddly lately. Maybe he is trying to tell me he's got a problem. But he does a lot of nuzzling on that side with his mouth as well. Um... And sometimes when he nuzzles on, like, uh, a hard object, or the edge of an object, like my CD cases down here, he does, um, make a sort of action like he's hurt himself, so. It could just be a sore gum, he could have an infection, and I know his breath don't smell very nice, but that hasn't smelt very nice for, uh, yonks. <laughs> Before he started having all these teeth issues, so, I don't know, we might just have bad breath. You know, a lot of animals do. Shall I give you a tic-tac? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, Mother's, Mother's Day was yesterday, Sunday the 26th of March, today's would be the 27th then, wouldn't it? Yep. I don't know why I said that. It was obvious. If yesterday was the 26th. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, my sister popped over to Mum's as well. With her help. Help. Rather not help. That was London, that was. Help. I need a bit of help. <laughs> That's exactly how my stepdad would say it. He needs help. Because he's from um, Watford, just on the edge of London. <laughs> we always take the... We really do take the rise out of each other's accents. <laughs> I've totally lost track of what I was going to say now. <laughs> That's totally gone. Oh yeah, that was it. We were talking about Mum and Mother's Day, weren't we? Uh, yeah, my si with my sister's help, uh, I've got Mum an orchid. Because I've got one of Mum's in the kitchen that's looking a bit worse for wear. <laughs> it's not dead dead yet, but uh, they are hard plants to look after. And I'm not a one for plants. You may have seen in the background in the kitchen, I've got those two aloe vera plants, which are easy. And so are my two cactus plants. They're also easy to look after, so... Yeah. <clears throat> uh -huh. Let's see if I can, um... Revive the orchid I've got here. I can't remember. Oh, my sister got... My mum a new mobile phone, so I've got mum's old mobile phone. There's just one problem with it. The battery is well and truly gone. It's not on its last legs. Its last legs have been and gone. I have got it here somewhere. I'm just trying to move the digger. I've got to roll the digger because I can't get hold of it with one hand. It's too heavy. 
and too awkward but here's the battery I'm not sure if you can see it on camera you might just be able to make out a little bulge and it's actually the same on both sides if I turn this over you can see it right in the middle <laughs> uh, here's the phone anyway it's just an HTC Sense well I do not possess a decent phone. It's the only piece of technology I don't possess. And people are always nagging me, get a phone. I've got a phone. i just got to get a battery for it. And a SIM card. <laughs> They're the only two bits I haven't got. But I've looked on eBay and I can get these for hundreds of HTC phones. That's an HTC Desire, but it doesn't say its exact model number. Or I haven't found it yet. So I might just have to go through the eBay batteries and find one that looks identical to this. <laughs> and then pray it fits. <laughs> um, if I can't find a model number. So, yay to everyone that wanted me to get one. Just love how this Technic digger works. 1,061 pieces to build it. I had to buy one piece, which arrived today. Which, uh, I think I threw it in that tray. <sighs> Tell you what though, it's a pretty damn awesome machine. I'm not sure I'd want to build these Technic models on a regular basis though. I mean, like I said, it took me two hours and 15 minutes Saturday to get as far as I did, which was basically this, this bit and the chassis. And uh, this bit, the cab and all this rear end was all done today. And that took me three hours and 45 minutes each. Three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes, something like that. A long time I've been sitting here. So long, in fact, my drink over there has actually gone flat. <laughs> but um, I've got one of these angled pieces wrong, and I'm not sure which one. thought I picked up two the same, but I haven't. I think this is the right one, and that's the wrong one, but I don't know what number is this one. Because they are actually numbered. That's a number three. Which I didn't realise till I was looking through the... Uh, instruction book and for some reason my voice just went really high pitched and squeaky and I have no friggin idea why but uh, I'm gonna just uh, try and flip this around we've got a red lever here now unlike my one on Mysterio which has got pneumatics this has got these right what you do you uh, tilt it forwards now, that has selected the gears to operate this one, and on the back, there's a little knobby thing to turn. So when I turn this, see, you can see the little shaft rotating in there. It tilts the bucket. It's quite slow because it's gear driven, but... It does. If I stick it in the middle like that, it does have a neutral position, so I can completely disengage it. If I go back, that raises and lowers. It's as simple as that. And again, bolt upright is um, the neutral position. So you then got, you know, the bucket tilt, arm raise and lower. Easy. I said it's well detailed, you know, it's got all the bars here and the bar here and the access ladder on the other side, big exhaust, lights, mirrors, lights up here as well, which, if I had the right bits and bobs, if I actually went on the Lego website and bought them, I could make these all light up quite easily. Not so much the rear ones, I would actually have to modify them completely. All I would have to do is stick LEDs in this side. 
and run the wires through to the battery pack which I believe bolts underneath here because I can modify this to have a motor on here to run this lot so I don't have to do it by hand but I don't think I want to go that far with it at least not yet, I might do in the future and, uh, this teaches gears really well and how complicated they can be well actually to be honest having said that I don't think this was as complicated as um the pneumatic system on that one but uh, I will go more in depth on this on my Lego channel I might do that video later I don't know I don't even know where I'm gonna put oh yeah this is another feature Wee! the hood opens and if you watch the engine can you see that the pistons go up and down <laughs> that doesn't stay up though that's the only issue with that the steering is done up here with this big um, shaft. There's a little gear mechanism behind here. So, on a real one, you'd have two huge hydraulic rams either side to operate that steering, but they haven't opted for that on this one. Mind you, I don't think there would actually be enough room for that sort of mechanism. There is one thing wrong with this, I've just remembered. These bits right here where my finger is is meant to be yellow, not black. But they're the only two bits missing. And I don't give a monkeys, the rest of it is all there and complete. I'm not sure I like picking this up by the cab. <laughs> I'm just seeing me being left standing with the cab in my hand. But, uh, yeah, that is quite a big beast. I think it's from the same, I don't know if it's actually from the exact same year as that one, I'll have to, I'll have to look these up again and see what year they were released, 2009 that one was released, I remember that one but I can't remember the backhoe loader, oh, right, well I've not really got much to do today so, there's not much to talk about. I've got that lamp, played with that model, I've got a clip of that, oh, excuse me, greenhouse. Um, dear me, oh, a bit of wind at the minute. One of those beans I had for lunch. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting up to much, so I think I'm just going to upload this little vlog as it is. Just, this has got face tracking on so I get a big white square around my face and it was just spazzing out for some reason. Oh no, it's still spazzing out for some reason. <laughs> when I remember I'll turn that feature off because I don't need it. Anywho, thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye bye.